Before becoming a movie star, Bruce Lee was already renowned in the American martial arts community and established Jeet Kune Do as a master in 1967. In 1972, while achieving brilliant success in the film industry, Bruce Lee was selected as the Man of the Year by the American Black Belt magazine, successfully joining the ranks of the so-called World's Seven Great Martial Artists, a group that has been talked about for a long time but with unknown origins. Although there is no one in the world who is absolutely invincible, Bruce Lee, as a master of Jeet Kune Do, undoubtedly possesses top-notch combat skills and strength. This is supported not only by a large number of authoritative reviews from contemporary martial arts experts and champions but also by a large number of actual combat training results achieved through his holistic scientific training with insights that transcended the era. For Bruce Lee, being an actor was just a professional identity. We must trace back to historical facts to understand the mutually reinforcing causal relationship between Bruce Lee, martial arts, and movies. Bruce Lee chose the profession of an actor as a master to promote Chinese martial arts and his Jeet Kune Do around the world. It was the master's incomparable profound martial arts cultivation, innate idol temperament, and top-notch kung fu strength that, through his exquisite kung fu performance and philosophical expression in movies, made Bruce Lee shine brilliantly beyond his peers and become a world-renowned kung fu movie star. In short, Bruce Lee did not become a master because he became a movie star. On the contrary, the outstanding strength of the master is the fundamental guarantee and intrinsic reason for Bruce Lee's irreplaceable achievement as a kung fu movie star, and no one has surpassed him to this day. Undoubtedly, movies have expanded Bruce Lee's global influence, including his reputation as a martial artist, allowing more people around the world to know and understand him. All of this has been achieved not only based on the strong foundation of Bruce Lee's strength as a master but also his keen insight into the times and actively choosing movies as a platform for martial arts dissemination. All the current additional or legendary or mythical stories about Bruce Lee's strength, in fact, many of them are also facts, but because what Bruce Lee could do at the time was unbelievable and far beyond the understanding of ordinary people, they were belittled as myths. In fact, we often underestimate how Bruce Lee stood out in his era and how far ahead of the times he was, are all imposed by the outside world, not the subjective will of Master Bruce Lee, and there is nothing to blame. We must understand this truth, opportunities always favor those who are well prepared. Dao Xu does not agree with the legend that Bruce Lee is invincible, and both excessive exaggeration and belittlement are extremes. As a human being, not a god, no one can be absolutely invincible. At the same time, we also firmly oppose those unfounded statements that belittle Master Bruce Lee because, in belittling, they not only fall into the trap of self-righteous thinking but also miss the opportunity to learn from their predecessors.